I really um, am enjoying being outside when I can be outside. I've been trying to get out and just do some things outside and do some walking, um, spend some time with my girls. So I wanted to film in my car today just because it's beautiful and I didn't want to be cooped up in my house. Although I do enjoy my nail room and I do enjoy filming in there. Sometimes it's good to switch it up and like do a little change of scenery. So um, today's video I want to share, first of all, share with you guys what I got from last month's polish pickup, which was March. I think I have the months right, maybe, I believe. And also um, share with you what I have on my wish list for um, May. I'm lying. It wasn't March. It was April's <laughs> polish pickup, which I just got the other day. So I want to share with you guys what I got in that one. And then I want to show with, share with you guys what's on my wish list for May. So let's get started on what I got in April. So I got Just Keep Swimming, which is polished for days. Um, last month's theme was Aquatic Wonders. So all of the polishes featured kind of like, I don't know, water themes. Um, and so if you guys are unfamiliar with where the term just keep swimming um, comes from, it is from uh, Finding Nemo, which is one of my favorite movies. And so I had to have this polish also because it is just gorgeous. So look at all of that amazing and beautiful shiny shimmery goodness there. Um, it's actually fortunate that I'm in my car because you can kind of see how this glistens in the sunlight and it is just all kinds of shimmery just shifty goodness it's shifting from like green to pink to purple just all of my favorite colors and it's in what appears to be a blue jelly base so um, I swatched this for you guys three different ways just so you could kind of see how it how it um, is on the nails and so here it is on the clear swatch stick. I don't know if you guys can see all that beautiful flaky goodness in there. This is three coats on the swatch stick with top coat. Um, I hope the lighting's okay. I'm not using my ring light, which I might go ahead and turn it on just because maybe my camera will like it better. But that is three coats on the clear swatch stick. It's so beautiful. Um, here it is on the opaque swatch stick, so you can kind of see that base a little more. Um, this is two coats on the opaque swatch stick. It's really pretty. Um, focus, there we go. And here it is over black. Y'all, when I swatched this over black, I was like, holy cow, it is so pretty over black. Look at that. You can just see all of those flakies in there. And I actually think I am going to turn on my ring light for you guys. Just, I don't know if it'll be any different, but let's try it and see. So hold on just a second. Okay, I'm back. So I do think it does make a little bit of a difference, even though to me in the car it doesn't. But look how it, you can see how that, those flakies are. It just makes a little bit of difference. This is so pretty. I cannot wait to wear this one. So that was Just Keep Swimming. Now, I was disappointed that I only picked up three from um, last month's polish pickup, but I am super pleased with what I got. So I also picked up this one. This is Scaflaw polish, and it's this beautiful minty green. Um, this is Permade, and it's got some beautiful blue round glitters in there, some white matte glitters, some really pretty scattered hollow. Mm, they're not really holographic. They're just like blue glitters kind of scattered throughout there. It's real pretty. I love this one. Um, this one is very unique to my collection and I think that's why I picked it up because that's one of the things that I kind of look for and polish pickup is polishes that are unique to my collection and this one is. I don't have anything like this and it does dry textured and there's only one coat of top coat on there but look how pretty that is on the swatch stick. I'm really glad I picked this one up. This one is so pretty to me. So very pleased with this purchase. And lastly, I got this one, electric electric pillow fish. Y'all, it is really hot in my car, so if I start to sweat, <laughs> y'all will know why. But, um, so this one I, I didn't remember, but I was like, I think this one is a thermal, and I was like, I really do think it is a thermal, but 
it is gorgeous in either state this is the cold state of course in the bottle it's a beautiful kind of um i don't know like warm purple with some beautiful like pinky purple iridescent flakies going on in there they're real pretty i am all about those flakies super pretty going on in there now when i got this out of the box and i swatched it i did not remember out of the bag is not a box when i got it out of the bag i did not remember what color it transitioned to and so i did do like um and i'll put the video in here but i did the you know dip in the water so you guys can see the transition but um i want you guys to notice i'm holding it up right now just because i'm hoping it'll kind of transition in the bottle and it is it's like super super sensitive it transitions so easy and it's so pretty and if you guys can kind of see now i just got in my car so it wasn't transitioning yet but that's kind of like the teal right here that's kind of the color it transitions to and i'm going to show it to you guys on the swatch stick because since i've gotten in my car it has made a full transition on the swatch stick so i will have to show you guys um in the video how it looks in the cold state on the swatch stick so here it is in full transition look how gorgeous that is y'all so if you can imagine um kind of like the half purple half teal look that's what it looks like in mid transition but i love both states of this polish i'm so happy with this one thrilled and in this amazing formula and i wish it would focus there it goes a little bit i don't know why it's focusing in and out keeps playing games with my heart focus okay there it goes so pretty love this one so much you guys will see the transition um and it's just it's transitioning here in the bottle it's so pretty i really um am happy with this purchase as well okay so that's what i got last month this month's theme is candy something <laughs> anyway yes it's all about candy you guys candy is my weakness i have a weakness for sugar um so before i got on this video to film i noticed that when i went in to like save my wish list it would not save and so um it may stretch this video out a little bit longer but i'm gonna try to go as fast as i can we're already at seven minutes i'm gonna try to keep it to like 25 ish minutes um, but heads up, you guys, I love this month's theme so much and I have 23 on my wish list. Now, little disclaimer here, I'm going to get a little personal and a little, uh, real for you guys for a moment. Um, I, and I'm going to try to do this without crying. <laughs> um, so I recently lost my job. Um, this is Monday and I lost my job on Friday. So I really thought that I was not going to be able to make any polish pickup purchases for this month, which was very sad because I had 23 already on my wish list. Um, however, some of my very close dear friends, I love them so much, sent me polish, get, polish pickup gift cards for my purchase this month. Y'all, I was so touched. I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> And it just made me really realize how much you guys mean to me, how much I want you guys to know. I am here for you guys. I am here for you 100%, and I want you guys to know how much that means to me, that you guys support me, and that you watch my videos, and that you give me positive vibes and positive comments. And I don't want y'all to think that I'm letting you know full disclosure about my job loss, because I know you're automatically going to... Um, offer me sympathy and support because that's who you are and that's why I love you guys so much but that's not why I'm telling you I'm just letting you know I'm super excited now that I can still make a polish pickup purchase so having said that let me get started on what I have on my wish list so it's gonna take a minute like I said because I'm gonna have to scroll through to get to each one so I can show you what I have at first on my wish list is this one Gosh, I feel like I can't even talk. Like, I'm a little tongue-tied and stuff. This is Blush Lacquer here, Fishy Fishy. Um, and I'm going to show you... I wish I could blow these up for you guys. What it looks like on the nails. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, look at all of that. Ah, oh, beautiful blue goodness. I just love this one so much. 
Um, I think it's beautiful. It is described as a royal blue curly base with a sea of red, orange, gold, shifty multi-chrome flakes, and pink, orange, shifty shimmer. Um, the bottles are 11 milliliters. This one will be priced at $10.75. And there is no cap, which makes me very happy, which means I do not have to rush in and get this one. Um, you guys already know, out of 23 polishes, 23 will be at the top of my list. <laughs> What is my hair doing right here? I don't know. Anyway, y'all, oh my gosh, this polish is so pretty. As soon as I saw it swatched, I was like, that one is gorgeous. I just love this deep, dark blue color. Okay, on to the next one. I'm trying to be quick because my polish pickup wish list videos are just like usually super long. We're already at 11 minutes. Counting down. I know you guys are always so sweet. You're like, oh, we love your ch super chatty videos, but I'm just like, oh my gosh, that video could have been like, you know, 10 minutes shorter. <laughs> this one is um, Vanessa Molina. Oh my God, I'm so hot. Wild Berry. It is priced at $13. It is described as um, part of the Skittles collaboration. They drew... The inspiration from the Skillos Wildberry and Tropical Flavors. Those are my favorite colored flavor of Skittles. Like I don't like just the basic ones because I always take the green and the yellow ones out, but the Wildberry and the Tropical Flavors, mm, my favorite. Um, this one is described as a purple thermal with violet shimmer and iridescent flakes. Um, they shift from purple, pink to blue, 10 milliliter bottle, no cap, priced at $13. Um, this one is being represented on super long nails. So my concern is, hold on, let me find some shorter, learn, shorter nails. If it will transition well enough on shorter nails, because my nails, I mean, they're not super short, but they're not super long either. So... But it looks like to me, even on shorter nails, here's some shorter nails, it'll still transition. And I hope you guys can still see it with the glare from my car. I may need to roll this window up, but I'm kind of scared because um, your girl is going to melt. I am like sugar. I will melt. <laughs> anyway, this one is really pretty. Um, top of my list for sure. Because it's purple, you guys know how I feel about purple. And, oh my gosh, this is just purple goodness transitioning. And I have several, I think, I want to say at least two, maybe three thermals on my list. So, um, I will probably purchase at least one. So, maybe that'll help me narrow down the choices because I know I will not want to purchase three thermals. I'll just want to stick to one. The next one I have to share with you is also a thermal. It is Caddy Lacquer. It's called Charlie, priced at $13.50. It is in a 15 milliliter bottle and it is described as a dark gray in the cold state to pink in the warm state to lavender in the hot state. So this is a tri-thermal mm, that just kicked it up a notch for me. Packed with pink to orange to gold iridescent color shifting flakies. Y'all, oh my gosh, look at this one. So pretty and the fact that it's a uh, tri-thermal and that, that shift to that like super dark Oh my gosh, look at this. And the fact that like, even in this condition right here, you know, if if, it, if it's a tri-thermal, then you could get like this lavender and then this kind of berry shade in the middle and then a deep, dark, uh, like vampy color on the tips. Oh, that is my jam. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. And it is based on the movie, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which is again, one of my favorite favorite movies of all time and I always talk about that line where he's like Violet you're turning Violet Violet <laughs> nothing beats the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory but I love the other version the newer version too the more modernized version the one with uh like mm, what's that actor's name that I can't think of right now but you guys know what I'm talking about I can picture him in my head it's going to come to me maybe before this video is over. Anyway, the next one is Col Caloris de Carol Fizzy Pop. It is uh, going to be priced at $12.50. It is described as a deep red base with a multi-chrome shift. The shift shifts from gold to green to pink to purple to teal. So many shifts. 
It's an iridescent with iridescent chameleon flakes and a hollow dust. Man, this has so much going on in it. It is so beautiful on the nails. 15 milliliters, 15 milliliter bottle. Um, there's 250 cap in the US, 20 in the UK. This one looks so vampy to me on the nails, y'all. Look at that. It looks so incredibly just like sexy and just like juicy. I love a juicy polish, y'all. Look. That is a juicy polish right there. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. And my friend Josephine, I wonder if her, oh, oh look. My friend Josephine swatched this one and this is her swatch right here, right here. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, she sold me 100% on this polish. Um, Top of the list. <laughs> so pretty, oh my gosh. And it's just like that berry shade and it's, like I said, just like juicy and it has like that kind of like jelly finish. I don't know. It's just good. I love that one. Top of the list. This is a honorable mention because I'm not 100% sold on this. So, hey, there is actually one that's not on the top of my list, but I mentioned it because I watched Dell swatch it on her video and I was like, oh, okay. Now that's a really pretty polish, but I wasn't super impressed with the original swatches that I saw on the polish pickup site um and maybe it's just not like my thing right now I don't know you know sometimes polishes just aren't your thing but I do appreciate that this has a lot of flaky goodness this is cupcake polish rock my world priced at $13 it is described as a purpley pink jelly nail polish filled with orange gold green shifting iridescent flakies and orange gold green shifting iridescent shimmer inspired by rock candy this reminds me a lot of rock candy i will give them that like she nailed that description and it is just like chock full of flakies um and it appears to look pretty good on any length of nails like there's on the shorter nails um here's some lo a little longer nails so i don't know you know if you're feeling like you would um really love a super flaky pink polish this is your polish it is very pretty, very, uh, like just blingy. I don't know what the, what's shimmery, I guess, like magical <laughs> on the nails. Um, so yeah, I mean, maybe I'm just not feeling that right now. It just knocks it down a couple of notches on my list, but it's definitely still on my list. Very pretty. Um, and it looks like it'd be amazing polish. Um, this one is Cuticula Magically Delicious, y'all. I'm telling you this now. My One of my favorite desserts now and in college was Lucky Charms and ice cream. I know, it seems very strange, but I'm telling you, try it. It's just so good. Lucky Charms and ice cream, like vanilla ice cream, like bluebell vanilla ice cream. Oh my gosh, I might have to have some tonight. I have some chocolate Lucky Charms in the house. <laughs> anyway, I digress. This is priced at $12. It is described as a soft curly with gold royal blue fuchsia green metallic flakes orange bright pink violet and baby blue holographic micro flakes and micro gold metallic flakes um works best in three coats it's a 15 mil 15 milliliter bottle 340 cap so that's a pretty high cap which i'm very happy about because this is pretty high on my list no 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 this is at the top of my list i can pretty much tell you guys all the purple polishes are at the top of my list but look at this polish on the nails oh my gosh so beautiful look at that look how pretty that is i am in love with these flakes i'm in love with these flakes and i'm in love with this like soft purple kind of uh like color on the nails oh it's so pretty and i also think it's very appropriate for i'm gonna turn this light off because it's like glaring um very appropriate for uh for the springtime so yes i'm all about this this is so pretty um definitely way up there on the top of the list you guys know just because it's purple it's up there now this one was not originally on my radar but then i watched uh fat cat polish and she swatched this one and i was like man that is pretty this is dollish polish where my peeps at also another disclaimer i do not like marshmallows but i freaking love peeps I know it's very strange they are very 
the few people on the planet that like peeps. <laughs> like I have, like I feel like it's a general consensus that peeps are just nasty, but I love them. Like I love them so much and I don't even like marshmallows. Strange. I know. Um, this one's priced at $12.50. It's a bright turquoise crelly with subtle indigo shimmer and packed with hot pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple matte micro glitters. Y'all, I love the glitter combination going on in here. And look how cute it is. And the color is just, oh my gosh, the color, like that turquoise um, with those like little pink and yellow and like green they're like neon green glitters in there that that glitter combination is like really getting me here's another picture of that one i am loving the way this one looks i am probably gonna get this one <laughs> there's no cap so you know i don't know we'll see but it's definitely i mean i feel like my choices are like crelly heavy this month um and also purple heavy because there are a lot of purples, just a bunch of purples. Um, this one, oh, you know what? Let me show it to you guys this way. This is different. D DRK Nails, Raspberry and Blue. It is priced at $13. Um, it is described as a, oh, it is inspired by the Brazilian candy, Raspberry and Blue is a blue jelly base mixed with lots of iridescent flakes red gold green and it can be used as a topper as well this one looks amazing not as a topper y'all let me show you guys it is of course purple in my jam oh my gosh we're at 22 minutes already holy cow this goes by so fast um oh my gosh look at this close-up of this one look how pretty that is um I don't know if I can pass this up you guys you guys know I have a weakness a it's a very strong weakness for purple with flakies and all the goodness um that's why this wish list currently is um purple heavy but this is a 12 milliliter bottle and it is priced at 13 dollars so maybe we'll use the pricing to kind of help me narrow down all of the purple goodness because oh man it is so pretty um so it recommends that you start with a brush that's not too full of polish because there's so many flakes in here but this is a cap of 200 so if i want this one i should probably snag it pretty pretty quick but yes um that one's definitely up there let me see i also have this one on my list now this picture um does not do this topper I don't feel like justice because I've I, when I saw it swatched on fat cat polish um it is gorgeous like it is so pretty and I don't feel like this picture really represents it well but it's a magnetic topper which I don't have a magnetic topper in my collection at all and it has flakies and it just like as this nice crisp line on the nail um which you cannot really see in this picture um but I We'll probably get this just on the premise that I don't have anything like that in my in my collection. I don't have a magnetic um, flaky topper in my collection. Um, so it is described as a magnetic top coat with galaxy gold glitters and little orange iridescent flakes. Um, Y'all, I, I mean, I was blown away when I saw this watch. This is beautiful. So I'm pretty sure I will get this one. You guys will see. <laughs> Stay tuned. This one has no cap too. So, you know, I got time to make that decision. Here is another, oh, well, here's another thermal that I didn't even think about. But this one, so cute. I mean, I'm just loving the way this one transitions. It transitions to like, you guys will see. This is Esmalta Stichelli Skittles Original. So this is based on the original Skittles that like I just mentioned to you guys, I do not like. Um, I mean, I like the red and the purple ones, and that's about it. But this is a thermal. It's It goes from clear to red with orange, with red, orange, purple, green, matte glitter in various sizes. It's priced at $12.50. It's, it's got a high cap, so $300 in the U.S., 10 milliliter bottle. Um, it's not too bad of a cap, of a bottle price for that bottle size, but y'all, look how pretty this is um, in transition. I love that it transitions to that like 
bright red like it's fire on the nails with all those glitters in there so pretty i love this thermal um now admittedly it's not at the top of the list like and then these swatches don't show it on shorter nails so it's not at the top of the list like my purple but it is up there so that's really pretty and it'd be super unique in my collection there's a selling point there for me if it's super unique in my collection and it's limited edition um i don't know i don't know if i can pass it up this one is ethereal lacquer called banana you guys know i don't enjoy yellow polishes but because this polish kind of i don't know speaks to me on the nails and then every time i'm like oh i don't i don't enjoy yellow polishes but then when i want to put a yellow polish on i don't have one because i don't buy them <laughs> <laughs> but then there are the occasions when I want to put a yellow polish on. So this one's called Banana. It's priced at $13. It is described as a bright and sunny banana yellow with a delicious red copper to green shifting shimmer. 15 milliliter bottle. That shimmer, I think, is what is getting me. If it was just a plain yellow, like, kind of metallic finish, I probably would not get it. Um, but the fact that it has that, like red to copper to green shifting shimmer that is what is selling me now i am wondering if that will okay this answers my question <laughs> look good on my skin tone but here it is swatched on a darker skin tone and that shimmer is just popping off there i don't know you guys this one is definitely speaking to me because i need more yellows in my collection um this one is there's no cap so price at $13 no cap I don't know selling factor for that one's definitely going to be originality and just because I don't have yellows in my collection this one is a another finish in color that I don't have in my collection y'all won't ignore my daughter back there <laughs> um because I don't have any, like, I don't have a whole bunch of neons, and especially not neon green or neon yellow. This one's called Fair. This is Fair Maiden. It's Limey Bean. So funny. Which is based on off of the Lemon Lime Jelly Beans. And it is described, priced at $11, described as a bright neon yellow green with yellow orange green shifting, shimmer and iridescent flakes, a bright and happy color, sure to lift your spirits. Y'all, I need something right now. Your girl needs something to lift her spirits. And so I might need something bright and just like in your face. Like, ah, uh, <laughs> this looks like it might be it. I'm really enjoying the, these swatch pictures of this one. This one looks so pretty. Perfect for. summer I'd probably wear this in spring um will look good with some stamping for sure I love this one y'all we're at 28 minutes I am nowhere near where I said I was going to be at the end of this video but I'm hoping you guys are enjoying all of my <laughs> chatty descriptions um I had a bunch on my list and I'm pretty sure there's still quite a few so I'm going to try to speed this up because I don't want this to be 45 minutes. Um, Fancy Gloss Speckled Eggs, $10.50 price. Um, described as, looks just like a robin's egg, and it's so pretty. It's a purple robin's egg. Um, it is a light violet curly with a mix of blue and red glitters. Um, and, y'all, this looks amazing on the nails. I love Fancy Gloss's um, glitter combinations, and um, also the fact that they also do amazing thermals. Um, this is purple, of course, you guys, speaking to me for that reason. Now, I don't, I do not see this swatched on a darker skin tone, but it's purple. I don't care. <laughs> I'm probably going to get it. It is so pretty, so fun on the nails. I love the way this one looks. I just love, I love this glitter combination so much. So pretty.
and if I'm going to get it, I better get in there and get it because it's 150 uh, cap on that one. So I have a feeling that one's going to sell out pretty fast. Um, like I'm really amazed that the cap is only 150 because I think that one's going to sell out super fast. Y'all, there's so many on my, there's so many. <laughs> I'm going to try and shorten this. I'm going to cut, no, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to just show you guys pictures and that way, because we're at 30 minutes, um, I'm going to show you guys a quick view. So the other one that's on my wish list, Glisten and Glow, Now and Laters. I love Now and Laters. Y'all, I just love candy and sweets. I have a real serious sweet tooth. This one's priced at $12.50. Look how cute it is. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm telling you, I'm all about the curlies right now. All about them. The only thing about this one that may detour me is not so sure how it will look with my skin tone. But here it is on a darker skin tone. Um... I do love this glitter combination though. It is so pretty. It, um, it's just like crelly goodness. <laughs> crelly glitter goodness. Um, and I will tell you guys, this one is priced at $12.50 and there's a $250 cap. Um, all of this is things you can look up yourself, but just kind of giving you an idea of things that I'm looking at in case you guys have a similar taste or if you found that you have similar taste through watching my videos um, these are polishes that are speaking to me in particular and also because I need you guys help like I'm gonna have to narrow it down significantly <laughs> and you guys always help me out so much so um, yeah that's really the main reason why I'm making sure I show you everything that I'm looking at so this is Heather's Hughes Sugar Crush it is like a like a um it's described as a dark it's a thermal first of all um a dark turquoise to sheer light turquoise thermal packed with rainbow and iridescent flakes um this thermal has a gradient effect which is crazy how do you get a gradient effect on a thermal i don't know but heather's hues has done it i mean it is like it goes from just like that lighter to darker blue um, now it isn't like a super obvious to me um, thermal effect so that may be a determining factor but I do love the kind of pond effect that it has on the nails like you can kind of see that pond effect there it's real pretty I love when you can just see the depth of the flakies and you can just see it you know kind of like smooth across the nails like even when you can see your nail bed a little bit I love that look. So that one is definitely calling to me. This one as well, Kathleen and Co. This one is called Kathleen and Co. Swirly Twirly Taffy. I love taffy, y'all. I will go to the store with all the different taffy flavors and just load a bag up and just eat taffy. It is so bad for my teeth, but I love it so much. This one <laughs> is described as a turquoise base with neon pink hex glitters in various shapes. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, I'm going to get this one. I mean, I'm I'm just letting you know. Because, first of all, I don't have any, I think I may have one other Kathleen & Co. And this one looks so beautiful, you guys. This looks like this formula is just perfection. Um, I don't even know how a polish can look that good. Yes, I do. It's an indie, and they just tend to look that way. <laughs> but it just looks like, like polish perfection on the nails, y'all. Look at that. And it is you know, it looks like it's pretty beautiful on all skin tones. Here it is on the lighter skin tone. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look how perfect that looks. I'm getting it. I'm just going to tell you guys. <laughs> Definitely at the top of my list. Um, also KB Shimmer. Now this one does remind me of another polish I have. I'm sure there are some differences. I think the flakies are different in here. It reminds me of, if you guys have it, um, Moonshine Manny's Coral Fixation. I think it's fixation. Um, it's a beautiful polish. This reminds me of this, that, and it also reminds me of grapefruit. <laughs> I don't know why, but hey, so I'm telling you guys all about how I love candy. Well, KB Shimmer Fruit Slices, yummy, yummy. It reminds me of the fruit slices that I don't like. I don't like those like really gummy, like, like orange fruit slices, like the ones that your grandma used to give you. 
um, like for Christmas in your stocking. I don't like those. Those are nasty. <laughs> but that, that being said, this is a pretty good representation of that, of that particular candy because that's what I think of when I'm looking at it. It is described as, um, hold up, fruit slices. I love the type of gummy candy that is slightly firm, brightly colored, and covered in crunchy sugar crystals. No. Especially fruit slices, yummy, yummy. No. Um, <laughs> give me all the time. Cherry, orange, and other fruit flavors. Mmm, no. But, the polish itself is very beautiful. It's a coral shade. Um, can lean more pink or orange depending on the lighting, complementing mini skin tones, micro-holographic flakes, add a hint of sparkle to this juicy shade. It is definitely juicy. I'll give it that. It's juicy. And I do really like the, um, coral shade that it is in. So I really enjoy that coral shade and the flakies that kind of pop off of there. This swatch right here is what kind of has me like, ooh, that is so beautiful. Here it is again. It says flakies, y'all. Flakies get me every time. Priced at $10, um, which is a very good, reasonable price for a 15 milliliter bottle. I believe these are, and there's no cap. So, um, it's going to be a toss up for me on that one and polish for days. However, I may skip polish for days this month because I got polish for days last month. But I have also made a recent, y'all, this video is going to be like 45 minutes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please keep watching it. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> um, anyway, yes. So I did make a recent KB Shimmer purchase. And so I don't know. We'll see. I may skip both of them because there's just so many other good ones. And I really like to like spread the love across the indie community because we need to give, you know, that's what we need to do. We need to give each of the indie makers some love. And so, I mean, I don't know. I just try to like, if I don't have a polish from a certain maker, then that's, you know, then I'm gonna be like, okay. Or if I only have a couple from that maker, but the ones I have are really good, then I'm like, oh, well, I need to purchase another one. Um, this one, oh my gosh, <sighs> y'all, oh my gosh, I fell in love with it when I saw it swatched on Fat Cat Polish, Lollipop Posse Lacquer, Skip to the Sweet Shop. Um, uh, the shade was inspired by Candy Sprinkles, the name Skip to the Sweet, Sweet Shop, I don't, I don't, I'm not even sure if I know that song. Uh, I want candy, oh maybe I do, I want candy, yeah. A song by MCP Pants. I did not know <laughs> who sang that song. It's very interesting. You learn all kinds of things on Polish Pickup. Um, and it is described as a neon purple. Oh my gosh. It is so bright. So neon. I want this one so bad. Like deep down in my soul. Because I don't have anything like this. No neon like pop off your nails. Just like ugh. Purple base filled with pink, bright pink, shifting iridescent flakes, iridescent, shifting micro glitters, and holographic accents. Y'all, that is such a good description of this polish. And just look. Oh my gosh, look. Did I yell? I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you guys can hear me. But y'all, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And there's another one that I'm thinking about now that's coming up that has me like, oh, I have to have it. Y'all, I'm going to get all the purples, and then there won't be room for anything else, which makes me sad. <laughs> this one's a 12 milliliter bottle, no cap, and it is $13. Um, your girl might have to have that one. I just, I don't know. I, I can't, I can't even, even like think about passing it up in my head right now. It hurts. Like it causes me physical pain. Y'all, 23 is a lot of polishes. Okay, we are at 39 minutes. I don't know if I can make it at 45. <laughs> I'm gonna try. <laughs> Necessary Evil. I saw this one swatched recently, actually today. Holy cow. <sighs> Necessary Evil Sugar Skulls. I have one more Necessary Evil, so I might have to add this one because I only have one. And it is curly goodness. And it is an amazing formula. And it is a neon pink polish with glitter goodness. Price at eleven fifty, fifteen milliliter bottle. Neon magenta pink with neon glitters in various sizes. Y'all, I'm loving all these neons. 
and I think it's because I don't have any like I, I really don't have hardly any neons and a neon crelly like jelly goodness <sighs> y'all are y'all seeing this this is crazy like oh my god y'all I get excited about polish but wow I mean I'm getting it <laughs> I need y'all's help y'all please I'm serious 1150 price which is an excellent price and there's no cap oh my gosh it's so pretty <laughs> I just love that one so much. I'm getting that one. That one is at the top of my list. This one as well. This is Night Owl Lacquer. Purple Flaky Goodness. Candy Coated Goodness. It is um, Bright Indigo. Indigo. That is so accurate a description of this color. Crelly, filled with iridescent color shifting crystal chameleon flakes. It's like crystals on your nails, y'all. Look at that. Look at the crystals, y'all. I'm, I'm almost like crying. <laughs> Look. Y'all have no idea. I'm all in my, like, I'm all in my polished feels right now, y'all. Mm, I'm getting it. I was out of money a long time ago, but <laughs> y'all just don't know. Um, this is priced at twelve fifty. It is a no cap fifteen milliliter bottle, y'all. Mm. Look, look at that. Look, y'all look. That is freaking amazing. Amazing. I am just blown away. And it's not even on my nails. How can you be blown away by a polish that's not even on your nails yet? Like how? I don't understand how that happens. But it's happening to me. Polish for days. Peach of my heart. Now I was talking about skipping polish for days. But <laughs> it is described as a peachy jelly base packed with glowy pink, yellow, green, iridescent, shifty flakies. 15 milliliter bottle. Price at twelve fifty, no cap, and it is just peachy goodness. Um, however, I kind of feel like I have something that is kind of close to this, like um, polish for days. I mean, it's close, but like not the same. Like long live the king, you guys. You know, we all know about how that one was like top of everybody's list and got. Braves. This, this is definitely a more softer peachy kind of shade. Um, definitely a warmer tone peach, peachy shade. Oh, sorry about that. My bad. My fingers. But it is still so good. So good. It's just, it's just, it's just good. I mean, it's polished for days, which you guys know is one of my favorite brands. And nine times out of ten, I can't pass it up. So we'll see. We'll see if I can pass it up this time. I feel like I need to give some other indie makers some love. So, I'm going to try to use that as my inspiration for passing it up. Red-eyed red -eyed lacquer. I do not have any red-eyed red -eyed lacquer. And this pink, um, inspired by dragon fruit high chews, which, which high chews are one of my favorite candies ever, is a neon magenta crelly with black galaxy hollow glitters and a white shimmer. Um, and you know what? I didn't even notice the right, the white shimmer when I saw it swatched, but it's priced at $12.50, but it's really pretty. I am also gravitating towards this one because I don't have any red-eyed lacquer, and I really want to give this brand some love, and look how beautiful it is. Um, it's just so bright and neon-y, and it also has those really cute little black speckles in there, like dragon fruit. I mean, it's, it's like, she nailed that description, like, she nailed the inspiration for this polish um again price at 12.50 it's an 11 milliliter bottle kind of you know the smaller bottle size but there's only 150 available so we'll see about that one i'm also looking at quixotic 
priced at $13. The only reason I am kind of iffy about Quixotic is because it kind of reminds me of um, tonic polishes. Um, what is it? Peacock Parade, which I have. So it is a... <sighs> You know, he has to make his appearance. He caught in. It's, we're at 45 minutes. Oh my gosh, we're at 45 minutes. $13. <laughs> Quixotic. Delicioso. Um, very pretty, but also, like I said, reminds me of another polish I have. Sassy Cat's Lacquer. Very beautiful. Pink. Curly. Um, priced at $12. Agnes Meat Candy. Again, y'all, I'm gravitating towards. Look at this on short nails. How cute is that? These, um, just like curly goodness... I don't know pinks for some reason this one is a pink curly filled with everything but the kitchen sink <laughs> that's an accurate description look at all of the stuff in there it just got it's packed with everything and it has it looks like a really good formula so if you can make a polish packed with everything and still maintain the quality of the formula that is a good polish 15 milliliters um twelve dollars mm, hundred dollar hundred it's a hundred polish cap so that one will be hard to snag um, because it is a low cap. I think we're almost to the end of my favorites. Um, Twisted Nether Lacquer, Mr. Mint, is another pink crelly goodness. Does not have as much in it, but it is still super cute. Look at that. I am really gravitating towards these neon peaks. I don't know why. And this one is a thermal. Look how cute that is. $12.00. Um, and it is 15 millimeter, uh, very small cap, 85, but I don't have any, any from this brand, so I might need to show this brand some love. Um, I also need some more top coats and base coats, so I'm looking at Cuticula top and base coat because I don't have that one, and so I may have to score, um, that top and base coat just because I like to keep a nice collection because you just never know what you might need for different whatever so um I do like to keep my top and base coat game on fleek okay so I think I went through most of the polishes I don't know if that was 23 I did not count I hope you guys um enjoyed all of my chattiness about polishes got super excited like 47 minutes and counting excited i hope you guys really enjoyed this video um let me know what you guys are looking at for polish pickup give me some ideas about what you think i cannot pass up i definitely take there's a wasp in my car <laughs> definitely take you guys opinion into account when i'm making my decision my final decision um and again i just love you guys so much thank you for watching my videos and supporting me if you enjoyed this video do subscribe give it a thumbs up hit that notification bell so you guys can see all of my future videos which i'm trying to up my youtube game and post more often so keep your eyes open for all of the videos that i will be <laughs> putting out there um and I, you guys are just amazing i can't thank you enough and i will see you guys in the next video bye